Ten Road started construction during the reign of King Rama V after His Majesty had constructed Dusit Palace in Samsin area and decided to order the construction of many roads throughout the area, one of which is Samsin Road. Currently, there are many tourist attractions in Samsin area. Today, a day in Bangkok will take you to travel around this area. We are going to start with looking for some great restaurants of the area and also to admire the beautiful architecture of the Church of St. Francis Xavier and pay homage to the old principal Buddha image at Wat Thewarat Kunchon Warawihan. Hello everyone, welcome to A Day in Bangkok. Sam Sen is another area that is situated right in the heart of the city. This area, many people may not have known, is filled with many delicious food and great restaurants. So, before we begin our trip today, let's go and find some great food at great restaurants. If you are searching for great restaurants in Sam Sen area, it might be a bit too generic, so I decided to take you through Sam Sen Soy 13. The specialty of this area is the Vietnamese community who migrated during the reign of King Rama III. Ban Yuan community has some of the greatest restaurants with delicious and authentic Vietnamese recipes which have been operating from generations to generations. Relaxing morning atmosphere and the delicious food makes me feel so happy right now. I am ready to begin our trip for today. The next destination we are going to is the Church of St. Francis Xavier. This is an old church built by the Vietnamese in this area since the reign of King Rama III. The Church of St. Francis Xavier is a church where the Vietnamese Catholic who fled the war to Thailand during the reign of King Rama III came to rely on His Majesty the King, Rama III. And King Rama III bestowed his personal property to build residences for them including various religious places, one of which is the Church of St. Francis Xavier. It was built in 1834, but the first church was built and lasted only three years because it was damaged by a windstorm in 1837. Patriarch Kuversi, who was the head of the mission of Siam, therefore established a new church as a second church. This was built out of wood and over time has decayed. Therefore, the newest church was built with brick and mortar it took 10 years of construction and was finally completed as the third church as we see today. In front of the church, there is a statue of Jesus healing the blind man or Prato, which King Rama V has brought from Italy where he visited Europe for the first time in 1897. At that time, His Majesty the King went to a factory of caster, sculpture and painter in Florence. After he saw this statue, he was pleased and ordered it to be housed at Chakri Mahaprasa Throne Hall. Finally, it was moved to the Church of St. Francis Xavier on June 21, 1949. At the pedestal of Jesus is the words Fides Duarte Saltum Fesit, which means Faith Saves You. After I have seen the statue of Jesus healing the blind man, I walked into the church of St. Francis Xavier. The decoration of the building focuses on neo-Gothic architectural style. The walls are brick masonry in ancient style, and the stained glass inside the church depicts the biography of St. Francis Xavier. However, due to the current situation of COVID-19 pandemic, the church refrained from various religious ceremonies. Sam Sen is an area of a multicultural society. So the next place we will be going to is a temple called Wat Thewarat Kunchon Warawihan, which is an ancient temple built in Ayutthaya period. Wat Thewarat Kunchon Warawihan, formerly known as Wat Samor Krang, 
is an ancient temple built in 1767 during the late Ayutthaya period and later King Rama I graciously pleased to renovate a new temple. Upon entering Wat Thewarat Kunchon Warawihan, you will find an incredibly beautiful ordination hall which Her Majesty Queen Sirikit, the Queen Mother, has a royal order to renovate the ordination hall after the former ordination hall has deteriorated. Inside the ordination hall, we will see beautiful murals in a well-preserved condition which is mainly adorned in blue. The pictures on the wall depict the story of the gathering of angels. After admiring the beauty of the murals, I paid homage to the principal Buddha image in the ordination hall, which is Praputta Thewarat Patimakon. This is a metal Buddha image covered with lacquered and gilded and is in Maravishai posture, which was crafted by artisans in Thawaradi period. As for paying homage and offering to Praputta Thewarat Patimakon, it is common in this temple to offer a set of monk's robe instead of flowers, incense sticks and candles. This is the first temple in Thailand to do so. In addition, inside Mondop, it is adorned with gables in the four cardinal directions in the site where Luang Pho Dam is housed. Luang Pho Dam is an ancient Buddha image in Maravishai posture and was constructed since Ayutthaya period. People like to come and pay homage to Luang Pho Dam. After I finished paying homage to sacred items in the ordination hall, I walked to the Golden Teak Museum, which has a two-story modern Panya shape. The whole building uses teak wood columns, which has great historical value. It was built to be the learning center of Buddhism to preserve national cultural heritage in terms of architecture and to offer a royal merit in honor of His Majesty King Bumi Pon Adunyade the Great on the auspicious occasion of his 80th birthday and Her Majesty Queen Sirikit, Her Majesty the Queen, the Queen Mother of His Majesty King Bumi Pon Adunyade the Great who was 75 years old in 2007. Inside the museum exhibits life-size wax statues of 19 patriarch of Ratanakosin city and house the Buddha's relic brought from Sri Lanka. After I finished enjoying the beauty of Golden Teak Museum, I walked to another important point of Wat Thewarat Gunchon Warawihan as this temple is next to Jao Praya River. Visitors, after finished paying homage to sacred items, would usually come to feed the fish, release the fish and enjoy the beautiful view along Jao Praya River. By visiting Samsen area today, we have learned that Bangkok is a multicultural and diverse society. But the most important thing of all, everyone learned to live harmoniously and happily together in this capital city. That's it for today. Goodbye. สวัสดีค่ะ. Join us and stand a chance to win special prize. Just head to our Facebook page and answer this question. The question of the day is, what does the inscription on the pedestal of the statue of Jesus healing the blind man mean in Thai? Faith save you. You will be healed. Submit your answer to our Facebook, Bangkok Tourism Division. You can also follow us on Facebook, A Day in Bangkok, and YouTube, Bangkok Tourism Division.